What's up guys, it's the Fishing Hobby. Got a content share video for you here. Uh, this video comes from the Fishing Dad. He does a few how-to videos and this is one of those. It kind of fits in with what I do on my channel so I thought I'd share it with some of you guys. With Christmas coming up, this might even make something that would be good for Christmas gifts. This one's a how-to on how to build a fishing rod rack and it's a nice looking one too. A little birdie told me that he will be giving one of these away again this year. I kind of obligated you to that, didn't I? I've definitely edited this video um, and cut out some of the information just to save time for the video. I just kind of wanted to introduce you to John and his channel. So go check that out. Check out his channel, subscribe to his channel, turn on notifications. Uh, John likes to fish with his kids a lot. So I like that. I do the same thing myself. For now, I will see you guys later. Tight lines. Welcome back. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. It's cold out. Kids aren't really big on fishing in the cold. I'm not really big on fishing in the cold. So we're in the workshop today. Today we're going to do a, we're going to build a custom wall mount four rod holder. And we're going to do two of them. And uh, it's a pretty simple process. So stick around. I'll show you how to do it. our first set of pieces here. We're going to do the same thing on what's left of this. Make sure it's 23 and a half inches. So there we have it. We've got four pieces here. All 23 and a half inches long. Now I'm going to take these to the bandsaw and we're going to cut them in half. So there we go. An unnecessary step if you buy them this way. Okay, so keep in mind this is the backer. This is where your rods are going to go. They're going to go up and through this. This is going to be the top piece for the rod holder. Okay, so like we talked about, we're going to have three and a half inches from each side. So we're going to mark that there. That's going to be the outer edge of your first hole. Okay, as you can see, I've taken and marked where the dowels are allowed to be on this piece. This is where our holes are going to be on our other piece. So we can put the dowels in between without running into our rod holder holes. And like I said before, if you want to have a kid do uh, anything in the workshop, the, uh, the drill press is a pretty safe bet. We want to make sure they have their, uh, their safety stuff, but we're going to have John pull this one off for us. We're going to do a little design. You can do it any different way. I went ahead and printed this off of the internet because I'm not exceptional at freehand. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this guy out and we're going to trace it onto our board. Okay, so there you have it. Now you can either use a spray adhesive to attach this to your wood 
Um, you can use some double-sided tape. You can lay it down, trace it out, however you want to do it. So I went ahead and I just traced it in and I drew some grassy things. And we're going to end up cutting all this out. So you're going to have this silhouette. Right, there's that onto the bandsaw. All right, there it is. Pretty nice, huh? For this cut, we're going to be using a Forstner bit to keep that cut as clean as possible. And Juliet is going to be doing the honors. Okay, so there you have it. You got your bottom that we're going to attach to our backer, and we got our top. Your rods are going to go through here, the tips, and they're going to sit on this. And we're going to do this first part by eye, just to give this a little bit of character and depth. We're just going to round out this edge a little bit. And we're also going to cut into these holes right here and here on the edge so you can slide your rod up in there and it'll sit nicely here without falling out. So it'll look something like that. Your rod will slide up in there and sit in this hole. And we can go ahead and transfer these curves onto this bottom piece just by tracing it out to make sure it all matches. Now we have one more cut to make and then we can sand everything down and finish it. Okay, in order to hang this, we're gonna attach these, but we want these recessed so that this isn't popping out off the wall when it's hanging. We want it flush on the wall, so we're gonna recess this using that same 1 8 bit, or you can use a chisel or whatever you want, but this is gonna be the quick and easy way. That will fit right in there, like so. Okay, I've gotten the sanding done. All right, there it is. All stained, glued up, clamped, the dowels are in. We're gonna let that sit overnight. We'll come back tomorrow, do the other side, and then we'll be done. All right, guys, there you have it. I'm going to do one more thing to it. I'm going to put a polyurethane coat on it and it will be shiny and beautiful and done.